Got you one. Toast crunch. Just toast. Plenty of jam. Got your money then? What's money between friends? Nice little setup you got here. We like it. Yeah, the caretaker would be very interested to see this. Hurry up, I'm hungry. Two. Oh. With plenty of jam on. Holloway. If you think you're coming here for free toast every day, then we're right, because you don't have much option, Gardner. Like, you don't have any missing tea. Yes. Yeah, if you go to the caretaker, you'll have all this lot to answer to. I'm more than a set of false teeth. So awkward. Next. Portrait's coming. Hey. Nothing, miss. Where's all that toast come from? Oh, it's me mum. Always makes a few too many, miss, so... So you're giving it away, Luke Gardner? Yeah, that's right, miss. For a little... To all those children? What's that doing here? Oh. Thanks, miss. Nearly forgot it. I was reading mystery notes, you know, for homework. Miss, there's a bell. Yes, there's a bell. And I don't know why, but I don't quite believe you, Luke. Well... We'd all better get to lessons, haven't we? Doesn't the canteen seem a little less overcrowded to you? Possibly. Yes, perhaps it is. I wonder where all the children can be going for their lunches. We didn't get our toast at break. Yeah, it's true, because the party's turning up. And we paid for it. You got us down your book. There. Yeah, right. Too here, Ollie. It's worth waiting for, you'll see. Better than school dinners. Yeah, that canteen these days, it's really awful. Doing very nicely, aren't we? Yeah, lucky to have not been found out by now. It can't last. Not unless... I suppose you're another lot. Think you can get free toast. Toast? I wouldn't touch your toast if I was starving. Oh, no. It's bread we want. Don't make us laugh. I could do that. Sharon. A regular percentage, boys. You want us to keep quiet? I want business to continue. So, today's takings are ours to take. What? You heard. So, give. I don't think he'll be giving you anything. Are you going to let your stupid little girl spoil our toast, bro? Yeah. We've seen you lot operating before. Nothing to do with you, thickhead. What do you call me? Just say that again. Before you answer, take a look around you, girls. There seems to be a few people with scores to sell. Yeah, you got it coming, Mother Davis. Yeah, you're for it now. You ain't heard the last of this. Not by a long way. Gonna wish you'd paid up. Better go while the going's good, ain't you? Let them through. And don't try nothing again, OK? Tom, right, mate. Yours comes free. We all do. That god just got it coming now. This way. <laughs> Natasha, there seem to be an awful lot of people eating toast around here. Is it a new craze or something? Yes, yeah, sort of, Mrs. Regan. Where'd you all get it from? From home, Miss. We bring it. We sold out. We've got increased supplies. Free loads tomorrow, you know. Plan back our profits. If I tell you, you're going to be sorry for that. Check his pockets quick. Oh. It's all loose in his trouser pockets. Only one thing for it then. Sharon, shut the door.
Gonch? Gonch? Oh, it's all right. You don't think so? Oh, me yet. What happened? Those terror orcs. What, the mudger? You're filthy. They took all the money. You didn't try and stop them. Not on your own. Well, where were you? It was one of them. Call me back. You disappeared into thin air. The oldest trick in the book. I should have known. Come on, can you stand? Come on, better get you out of here. What? Got any trousers on? More. That's it, just there. You're awful quiet, Gonch. Let me take it to Mrs. Regan. Come on. No, don't worry. I think you might be concussed or fractured skull. Oh, tar. Brain damage, you mean? Well, you're sure you're gonna be all right? Yeah. I can't go telling them what she did, can I? Or it'd all come out about a toast bar. You're not gonna go on with it. Not now. There's a lesson bell gone. Yeah, Sonny would work. What's that melted on my trousers? What's my mum going to say? What's she going to think? So they went missing while you was doing games? Yeah. Going to give it up now, the toast bar. Hey, What are you talking about? That's the day's takings we've got to make up now. Easy come, easy go. Oh, you can't be joking. We'll need protection. New toast will have to wait. Maybe by next week. You are OK, Gonch. We've got to make up our losses. Shouldn't take too long. Business is still good. Right, Jack, if you'll take that okay, end. Okay, right. Hello. What? What have we got here? The second year ahead. Well, Mr. Griffiths, what have we here? An electric toaster, Mrs. McCluskey. What has been desecrated my school? I was busy making a space for the sports equipment, like you'd ask. And what do I find but a toaster? A connected toaster, fully operational. It is the first sign of anarchy. Believe me, Mrs McCluskey, some child has been using that toaster. I don't entirely understand. I think I'm beginning to. Someone, I don't yet know who, has been providing toast at break time. I mean, a child is running some sort of catering venture in the school playground. Yes, it looks like it. And I think I know who the boy is. Second year. What's his name, Mr Griffiths? I don't know, but you can rely on me to find that out. I've seen him around. Up to no good. Things seem to be getting rather out of hand today. Now, don't you worry, Mrs McCluskey. I shall turn detective and find out who is the owner of this here hardware. And we shall have him in next to no time. And then... <laughs> 